What's going on guys, Scotty here. Welcome back to another one. So let's get right into it. So uh, recently I've been doing a lot of testing um, when it comes to Facebook ads, testing lookalike audiences versus interest based targeting. So in other words, when you're out there creating an advertising campaign, should you be targeting interests or should you be, be creating lookalike audiences and targeting that way? I'm going to show you my stats here so that you can see which one has been performing better, at least in my case. Now the next thing that's kind of important is we want to talk about which KPIs actually matter. What are the KPIs that I'm looking at that's going to tell me, okay, this this is performing better than that? Right, so in my particular campaign, what you need to know is that we're gonna be focused on this campaign right here, which by the way, if you're an entrepreneur, a marketer, or a creator, chances are you only want a few things. You want more traffic, more sales, or maybe you just wanna get into a side hustle that actually works. I've got a link down in the description below. There's nothing you have to pay for, but this is basically how I've been able to create four separate side hustles. They've all been able to do over six and seven figures, you know, without going viral or doing anything crazy like that. So if you're sick of all the gimmicky BS and you just wanna go straight to the real shit, make sure you check out that link down in the description below if you're serious about growing your business or getting into one that actually works. And now back to the video. So first and foremost, this campaign is an interest-based campaign. So in other words, I'm basically targeting interest-based audiences, and then we're gonna be looking at the lookalike audiences and seeing which performs better. This is basically a drop shipping campaign promoting a little bracelet, and the KPIs that we're, that we're using to measure these results are the website purchase ROAS, that is the return on ad spend. The other thing I like to look at is the cost per purchase, so how much is it costing me to get a sale? And then from there, the next thing that I look at is the cost per unique link click. So how much does it cost me per unique click? And then finally, the cost per messaging convert, uh, conversation. So uh, for those of you who don't follow my content, I send all of my traffic into Facebook Messenger using a Messenger bot as opposed to sending that traffic to Shopify or ClickFunnels or anything like that. So in other, in other words, what this is referring to is how much is it costing me for somebody to click on my ad and then engage with my messenger bot inside of Facebook Messenger. So right here, it's costing me about $1.68 for somebody to click on my ad and then start engaging with my messenger bot. Okay, so let's go ahead and break some of these numbers down right here. So first off, uh, if we look on the if we look at the ROAS, now for my particular campaigns, I like to see my ROAS at about a three, but uh, a two is acceptable, and right here what we're looking at is about a 1.76. So this is a little bit below what I like to see. It is still a little bit profitable, so it's not necessarily something that I would turn off. Uh, I'm just gonna continue to kind of work on this and eliminate you know, some of the losing variables and, and try to scale up some of the winning variables to kind of get that number up but that's not necessarily terrible. So the ROAS could be a little bit better here, but it's not necessarily a loser. Now the next thing is the cost per purchase. So it's in this case, it's costing me about $20 per sale. Now for the most part, I like this number to be at about $15 or less. That is what I consider to be really good for my type of campaigns. So again, a little bit high here, but it is still profitable. So it's not something that I would necessarily turn off here. Okay, so moving on here, if we look at the cost per unique link click. Now for my particular campaign, I like to see this number under $1. So overall, we're seeing uh, 89 cents per link click. And with this, we're looking at about a week's worth of data. So we're looking at the first up to the ninth, which is today. And we can see that the link clicks have been right about 88 cents, 89 cents. Yesterday was $1.05. It was Mother's Day. And so I'm sure people were a little bit busy doing stuff with their family. And that's probably also true for today. So that may be why this is a little bit higher yesterday and today. But overall, this is an acceptable number when it comes to clicks. Now, the next thing here is the cost per message. And again, this is basically how much it costs for me to get somebody into my messenger bot and engage with my messenger bot. Now for this number, I like it to be under $2. And so overall we can see it's cost me about $1.25 to get people into Facebook Messenger and engage with my bot. We're seeing the same pattern here where yesterday was a little bit more expensive uh, for Mother's Day. There was probably a lot of other businesses running Mother's Day promotions in addition to you know people just being busy, which is why this cost is probably higher. And then again, um, not quite as expensive yesterday, but still more expensive than the average. 
So overall, this is a profitable campaign. It could use some improvement. So I will spend you know some time trying to optimize this a little bit. But now let's go ahead and check out the campaign where I'm basically targeting lookalike audiences. And this is the one that we're gonna be focusing on right here. So just to give you some context on this audience, this is basically a buyer list with over a thousand previous buyers of this product. Everything is exactly the same as the other campaign. The only difference is that I'm targeting lookalike audiences in this case. So let's jump into some of the numbers here. So if we're looking at the ROAS, we've got a 2.87. Now the thing to know about these numbers is I'm not really gonna put a lot of weight in the ROAS or the cost per purchase, because as we look at the stats here, on the very first day that I launched this campaign, there was four sales. And then there's and then there's never been a single sale since then. Now I happen to know who who this buyer was, and this is a very regular customer who buys almost every promotion that I offer. And they happen to go through and buy four separate things. And so the reality is a more accurate representation of the ROAS is probably zero. And aside from that, there's actually been zero sales. Now the next thing that we want to look at here is the cost per unique link click. Now again, I like to see this under $1 and we can see that this is overall getting $2.34. So this is more than double the price that I like to see in terms of link clicks. And finally, if we come to the cost per messaging conversation, the overall number is $3.35 which again, I like to see this number under $2, typically about $1.50 I would consider to be pretty good. So this is over double what I like to see. And I'm not gonna go into every single test that I've done, but I've tested this in a lot of different variations, a lot of different ways, a lot of different styles. And it's basically the same results every time. The interest audiences always outperform the lookalikes. Now that was not always true in 2017, 18, and 19. Lookalike audiences typically always beat the interest audiences but at least as of right now in 2022, lookalike audiences, at least for me, have lost almost all of their value. So that's pretty much it for this one. If you've been wondering whether or not you should be targeting lookalikes or interests, again, at least for me, interests have been beating lookalikes every single time. So that's it for now. Hope this helps. See you next time.